Hello everybody and welcome back to Alma Missouri. So today I really want to try and push on. We need to try and push on and get some things done. But money is not on our side, which is always an issue. But yes, I can just go take out a whopper of a bank loan. Get everything I want. Be in debt for the rest of my life kind of thing. But I'm so far, we've got to this point and we've not had any bank loans. So I'm really desperately trying. But I might need to do some bits like contracts off camera. To try and boost the money. Otherwise we're just gonna have to keep repeating the same thing now i would like to try and get cows next uh now it seems like this is quite a big pasture it holds 400,000 liters of food half a million milk and over a million on slurry now it's a million slurry but it adds another 50,000 because i put this in now this is part of the manure system so this will allow me to connect a trailer connect a hose onto it and pump out the slurry the proper way now for some reason these things have to go close to the actual like cow shed, even though my slurry pit is down there. My the slurry pit won't let me connect it up to a trailer. So, and this won't go down there because it says it's too far away. So I've had to put it here. And it's it's literally like a thousand pounds for that. Gives you an extra fifty thousand liters if you have got small, but here's like a million. So I think we're doing okay on that. And I've got the trailer to match it, which is sort of just over there. This thing right here. So this is a pretty much a normal trailer, but it's been adapted. It will carry the hose on the side, and then the hose will connect onto the back of here, and we can pump it out. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We've got that now. Okay, maybe a little bit premature because I've not got cows yet, but I really do think we need to start pushing forward. We need to also think about getting the dairy and the pizza rear because the pizzas are going for silly amounts of money. We're talking like 11, 12,000. Yeah. So... We obviously need chickens, which we could potentially get. Because the chickens... You know what? Actually, let's have a look into this straight away, shall we? What? We're going to get 360 chickens. 19,800. Can we afford that? Just. <laughs> we can just afford that. Do we... Do we... Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, the alfalfa is ready to go as well. So we're going to be sorting that out in just a second. Let's do it. Let's just go straight in. 360 chickens... Yes, thank you very much. Oh, yes. Now, we need some food. Now, the chickens do just take grain, so let's just go quickly sort them out. I get a tractor trailer, we'll fill it up with some grain, and we'll come and feed these guys. We really don't need much at all, because these guys only hold 9,000 liters in here. So, we'll just go and put it in here, tip that in. We're going to have to feed this back into the silo, because it, yeah, it's a little bit too much. Just have a look now, see what that's done. So it looks pretty good, that does, you see. So daily food, which is obviously because we're doing one day per month in this game. So one day in game is one month. 1,800 liters. So the 9,000 is going to last us a few months anyway. So that's not bad at all. So we'll get this back into the silo. And then I think we need to grab the mowers and start making some silage out of that alfalfa. Or one more thing quickly, just in case you did see this. Just in preparation for the cows. I have got this, which is a food mixer, and it's a, it's a nice looking food mixer. And if you, you can't really see, but just above there, it's got all the like ratio in the mixture is what you need. You can use this one to put in like all your normal stuff, but you can also do it with the mineral feed or without the mineral feed. Now I got this because it's going to be easier. We did have that normal like trailed mixer. The problem with that, though, is these bales now are 25,000 litre bales. It's going to be very tricky to try and get the right amount of hay, silage, straw in a mixer without it going wrong. So, for this Let's Play series, I thought one of these is going to be easier. Because you can just let you dump the bale straight in. It will mix it itself, and then we just get it out of the spout. So, yep, that's in preparation for cows, because I really do want to get cows. And we're just going to try and get them as quick as we can, because we need the milk... Milk's got to go over to the dairy when we can afford the dairy because we need, obviously, butter, cheese. We need eggs as well. We need to get the bakery going. We really need to try and push on and get things moving. We also need money. So I'm going to set a worker on this because we have seen quite a lot of grass work and that, but unfortunately, we need to do it. It's a job we need to do. So we'll set a worker on. We'll let him go. Look at it. This alfalfa is looking good. Look at that. Wowzers. The fingers crossed the worker should be able to sort this. It's going to swath it as well, which makes it a lot easier to be able to bail and pick it up in one go. 
Oh, that's a nice swath. Yep, so we'll let the worker crack on with that. We're going to try and get a few different jobs done in this episode, but we're going to have to cut quite a lot out to fit it in so it's not a huge episode. Now, we've got two more months before my wheat field. The corn is doing well. It's uh, starting to grow. That's looking quite nice, that is. Beautiful rows of corn. So, yeah, I think we'll let the worker carry on with that. I, I do just want to... There is one thing I want to do, and I'll take you with me. I do want to go and have a look. Now, we've... I've upgraded this because the ketchup factory just kept running out of tomatoes. It just... It just couldn't keep up. It absolutely chews through tomatoes. So, I want to go and have a look and see if we've got pallets and how many we've got. Now, let's just close your eyes. We're not carrying them. Doesn't really look good, I know, but... um. They're just storing in here for now until we can actually get our bakery up and running. So I'm going to take, uh, let's go and take this. Give this a bit of a spin. Uh, what else? I'm sure I've got something else. Oh, yes. I've got one of these. Because when we're moving bales and if we're going to be feeding bales to the sheep, kinda, we've got to do it a little bit better than uh, picking it up, you see. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, ready to go on here on the baler. I think that's about it. I think we're up to date with some little bits that I did off camera. So we'll go through. We'll take the pallet trailer. We'll squeeze through here. Just to make sure. Because I, I don't know how many pallets we're likely to have. But the rate it's been getting through the tomatoes. I'm assuming we're going to have a few. So we'll go pick them up. Bring them back to storage for now. Because there's not much we can do with them at the minute. I'm assuming the pizza rear... Is going to need them. It's going to need flour, which again, we need to get the grain mill, but that's nearly 100,000. I'm, I'm assuming tomato ketchup. What do you think that tomato sauce? That's going to go on the pizza. And I'm assuming cheese. So we really do need to get the dairy to be able to do that. I wonder. Hmm, the old debate of pineapple pizza. Because we have got a pineapple greenhouse. Well, a greenhouse is making pineapple. What do you think there's going to be a pineapple pizza? Gotta be, ain't it? Gotta be. Anyway, I'll see you over at the ketchup factory. So we're just heading over the train tracks then. We're just approaching the popcorn factory, which is on the left, and the tomato ketchup factory is just behind it. So let's see how many pallets we've got then. I'm hoping we've got a few. Oh my word, yes. Yeah, yeah, we have got a few. Wow. I mean, I know it was getting through them quick, but yeah, this, this is where it's all gone. Oh, yes. Let's see if we can get these jump on. It's always one, isn't it? Always one has to be awkward. Let's just go around the edge a little bit. We might be able to get it. There we go. 11,000 litres of ketchup. Now, I bet we would have had more. It's only because the greenhouses supplying the tomatoes can't keep up with the demands of the ketchup factory. So this is not bad. We'll go put these in storage. Well, that's the baling all done. And that's all the bales collected. 15 bales all together at 25,000 litres per bale. That's some good going. For that little alfalfa field, that's not bad at all. So let's go unload, drop these in here. Now we can drop them in straight away because they've all fermented already. So now we should be able to see what we've got in here now. Yep, 25,000 litres. Well, per bale of silage and we've got 15 of them not bad at all so i'm at that point now where there's not much else to do money's tight and i'm not sure if sleeping i need to sleep through to basically make my own grass field grow so we can do some hay the wheat field and all productions to keep moving forward now unless i sell them silage bales straight away but i really want to try and push for cows so i think what i'm going to have to do is if I look on the map on here, this whole little area here, remember on that other episode we did that grass field there, all these are grass, which means a lot of silage. And I think I'm going to have to go through off camera now and try and do some of these to try and give me some silage and so, so you know, the contracts. So you get contract money and sell these for silage to try and boost the money so we can actually move forward, keep paying leasing costs, and try and progress a little bit so for you it's going to be seconds for me a few hours 
I'm going to do some contracts off camera and we'll come back and I'll bring you in when we go to sell the bales, complete the contracts, but I'll keep the contract work off camera because we've seen a lot of that at the minute. So catch up with you in a minute. So here we go then, we've got 13 silage bales from that contract. So let's just go and unload these, put them in, drop them and see. So many will go to complete the contract and then we will get some money back as well. Oh, there's our money racing up. What do we get? 64,000 extra and we've got the contract to get as well. So 21,988 for the contract. We'll collect that. That's not bad at all. That now gives us 101,000. That's all right, that is. So I've got everything back to the farm, and I keep thinking about this loan. Do you know, I really think I'm, I'm going to do this because it's a new loan system for farm sim that allows you to pay like less interest, but also you, you get to pay it off. It's, it's done more like real life loans. And I just think that might be better because even though I've got things on lease, these tractors are going to charge me several thousand every hour that I go over, like I, I use them for. Well, this is leased. That one's leased. Is it, is it that one leased or is that one mine? Oh no, that one's mine. The one in the, the one in the shed here. That's leased. That one. Yeah, that's leased. So I'm just worried because this is already nearly coming up to an hour already. If we go jump in and um, yeah, we're on 0.8, so we we we're getting close. And it could be about what six, eight thousand per hour for that, and. Mm, I just think if we go for this loan, we could get this done, clear all these off, we'll just have one lump sum coming out. And if we extend the loan for like 10 years, which I know sounds ridiculous and quite a lot of time, we can pay it off early once we start making the money. So if we get out a little bit extra money to cover everything here and buy us the dairy, grain mill and pizzeria, I think we could be onto a winner. So, bear with me. I'm just going to have to go do some calculations off camera to see how much I've got left to pay on everything and then work out and then we'll go take out a loan. So, looking into this then, it's it's actually quite alarming, this is. Everything that's on lease at the minute, which is, well, all these and two tractors, it's actually just short of 1.3 million, which is... Yeah, that, that, that's a lot more than expected. I don't, know, I don't know why, I don't know what I was expecting, really. But yeah, that, that's a lot. So I think what we're going to need to do is if we do a, a take a loan out, we're allowed nearly 1.8 million. I think we're going to have to go for like 1.6 because the grain mill was nearly 100,000. I think the dairy 70 and the pizza place is 40, I think. So if we go for go for 1.6, you think that's going to be good? 1.6? Yeah, because we're allowed 1.78. So we've not actually got we've not actually got much much headroom on that. So let's have a look at the years then. If we go for 10, that's going to be 16,000 a month repayments. Ooh, that's like one point, nearly 1.9 back altogether. Well, let's just see if we, if we go for how many years will it? Well, how many years will it let us go for? Ah, 20 is the max it will let us go for. We can't go for 30. So 20 years is the max we can go for. That's going to bring it down to 9,381 monthly repayment, which sounds okay, under 10 grand a month. That, that will do. Paying that back for 20 years is 2.2, or just over 2.2 million repayments altogether, if we did it for the 20 years. I think that's the best one to go for, because then we can just try our best to pay this off early. So let's take loan. 1.6 million, 240 months. <laughs> oh dear. Have I made a mistake here? So we now have 1.75 or 1.705 million in the bank because we had some from that bail contract. So let's go through then and pay all these off. And then we'll see and double check. If I've done my math right, we should have enough money to go get the grain mill, dairy, and pizzeria. So there we go. No leased items anymore. Now all owned items and we've got 422,000 left i was a millionaire and now i feel broke even though we've still got 422,000 in the bank okay so yeah all these now say yep owned by me not rented oh it feels nice to own all these we've got a hell of a debt over us 
Let's go into town. You know, I'm going to go walk into town now. Can't afford to run them. I'm going to go walk into town. I'm going to go buy myself a dairy pizzeria and grain mill, won't it? I see you over there. First stop then is Green Mill. Look at this, baby. Let's go somewhere here as far as my way it was. Yeah, there we go. 96,000. Yeah. Oh, yes. I now own a Green Mill. There's my grain dryer. Um, Anybody know where the dairy is? I think it's through here. Let's see if we can find it. It's in town somewhere. But there's the pizza place. There's the pizza rear. So we'll go over here. I'm guessing it's going to be around the door. Are these still, still walking inside? Yeah, they are. You have to get out there soon. I'm going to own this. There we go. 40,000 for that. And now we've got the dairy, which I think next to the bakery. I think this is the dairy here, if I'm right. Let's have a look. Dairy for 70. So that's not bad, actually. My mass wasn't too bad there. We've got a bit of headroom now. We're left with 216,000. So where do we start and what do we do? I, I really do want to get cows, but we need hay and straw so at the minute i'm just filling up this with manure because my fruit greenhouse which is pretty much directly in front of us and the, to the tomatoes which are just to the right i've gone and give these little greenhouses a bit of an upgrade just so they will try and pump out a little bit more because that fruit greenhouse ahead we need the pineapple for the juice factory which again is in front of that pumpkins we're going to need for the bakery which we really want to try and get going as well so I've just given them a, a couple of upgrades, which uh, have knocked my money down a little bit. And obviously, buying poo is not exactly the uh, the way I want to be rocking. This is it, it's buying poo, but we need to get cows. We need to make sure these are all okay first, because, you know, these are the things that are going to go in. Like this one here. This does all the stuff like oranges and... Uh, what is it? Is it lemons? Pineapple? It does all that for the fruit factory, but obviously the, the fruit factory needs the pineapple and the pizzeria needs pineapple as well so we needed to start kicking out a little bit so yeah everything's just had a little upgrade try and push it through a little bit it's all looking pretty good on here i filled the water up as well now the water on these yes it looks like it's dropped it's because it's had the upgrades so as soon as we hit the uh, top of the hour it will the waters will stock up again so these are on three now so this is three this is three and i'll see the tommies are on eight because we really the, the tomato ketchup factory is just annihilating all our tomatoes it is ridiculous i've never seen it get through so much tomatoes if we go and have a look on here you'll see the uh, ketchup factory there look we've only got 1330 it's trying its best to sort of keep it stocked with tomatoes but it's just it never seems to go up too high so i think we'll turn this off here i think it's time to go to bed because there's nothing else we can really do at the minute next month i'm hoping that our grass field is ready so we can actually turn that into hay then we've got silage we've got hay we just need straw but we're going to have to wait for our wheat field to get straw so really again there isn't much we can do so we'll go over we'll go to bed if the grass field's ready we'll get that done and then we might have to just after simply doing that grass field sleep again i i, I think that's all we can do uh, we'll go for nine o'clock see you in the morning well, we're back in June, and uh, yeah, our first payment, look at that, our first payment's gone out. We now only owe 1.595 million. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. But a few things have stocked up, you see. Look at this. Pumpkins all the way. Now, they won't because they are distributing straight across into here. It kind of makes sense. These are spawning because we need to stock up on them because they're going to go over to the bakery, so... I can come over here, get a trailer fall, and take it to the bakery. It's only because the bakery's not set up. We could have it spawning or sort of distributing straight across to the bakery uh, as soon as that's set up, but it's not running in the minute. There's nothing to go in it. So, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. We've got a collection of different drinks going on here. So I've just collected all the pumpkins and the juice. It's just going to go into our little storage shed just here. Throw them in there. And then now we'll go and head over and have a look what kind of mess the ketchup factory's in because we've got a lot of pallets to bring back from there so on my way over here to the ketchup factory then uh, i was just thinking about there's a lot of contracts that we could do a lot of fields that i've got rye now i don't know much about rye because i've not oh oh my yeah they're maxed luckily we've got the stackable mod otherwise we would have maxed them out a long time ago 
But it's allowed us to get another layer on here, which is pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, I was just thinking about doing a contract on a field for rye. But I'm not sure. Do we get... Is rye like wheat and barley? Do we get straw off rye as, like, in base game? Because I've got the extendable straw mod. And I'm not sure if rye's part of that mod. So I don't really want to do a rye contract because it's a, the big field to find out. That's, that's basically it. I'm not going to get straw off it. I, I really want straw and I want hay. That's what I want so we can actually then get cows. That is what I'm kind of pushing for at the minute. But I'm, I'm struggling a little bit to try and, you know, well, get straw and hay without literally buying them. I don't want to buy them. That's a silly idea. I mean, I could do, but that just seems a waste of money there. So we could go to bed... And, um, and I think which is the good best way to kind of park here. Because we're going to have to... Oh, I was just going to say more. We're going to spawn. <laughs> I happen to be right in the middle of them when they did spawn. I don't know where the starting spawn point is. Oh, hello. I found one. There's one more here. Where do you sneak up from? Oh, oh my. How many pallets? I don't know how many pallets we can get on here. Will you go on? Oh, yeah, you will. Oh, dear. It's it's quite a nice amount on here. I like this. So let's just back up without backing into the pole. Is that everything now done? Are we, are we empty of ketchup? Yep, I believe so. That's it. 888 eight, eight in there. It will spawn soon. Oh, what's going on here? Pineapple juice. Why's that run out? Oh, it's run out. Okay, we'll stop that for now because it's run out of pineapples. I'm trying to save the pineapples up for the pizza plate. Here, because we, we need pineapples on here. So it looks like we are done with that. 27,000 litres of ketchup. Oh, yes. We'll get this back to our storage shed and we'll, we'll put it in there. I'm really contemplating about a contract on rye. Or we could just go to bed. Because in the next month... My field should be ready, my wheat field, and my grass field. So we should be able to then knock out straw and hay in one go. Could be worth it. So I was just on my way back to the farm, and I thought, you know what? Since I'm stopping by the pizza place, we have got ketchup. So what I'm going to do is, it's, it, normally you'd kind of drive into them, but because I've got so much on here, I don't want it to start taking little bits out of multiple different pallets. So I'm just going to kind of cheat a little bit and go drop in. It takes 12,000 litres, so 12 pallets. It's not really the best way. Normally, you'd pick up, like, 12 pallets, and then you'd drive over here, run in with the trailer. But I know if I go near this, it's going to take little bits out of all of them, so I'm going to have, like, a load of mismatched pallets, and I don't really want that. So we're just going to keep feeding these in here before we go back. Might as well, because there's nothing else we can do with this yet. We've got no cheese, and we've got no flour. But when we do, we've already got the, uh, the Tommy sauce in there ready. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep going through with this. And then I really do think we're, we're going to go to bed. And then we'll see if we can get sorted in my wheat field and some hay. So I had to do it. I had to go get an autoload trailer that holds 50 pallets. Because after sleeping again into the next month, we got another 35,000 litres of tomato sauce. That's just ridiculous. And I just thought that's going to be a few trips back and forth with the, uh, the little trailer. So I thought it's just going to be easier now because if I need to take anything bulk-wise and a lot of it to be able to go and sell, I need one of these to be able to take 50 pallets at a time. The little trailer is great for like running about, but we we kind of we need this. So let's just go over here now, and uh, it should all just disappear in. Yeah, there we go. Gone. So that's now all in How is the storage getting on, actually? 132 pallets in there. Now, we could use this trailer to pick up some of these bits here, but it's it's a bit big to get around here, and we keep going through the building. So I think we'll take this over here. Now, good news is, my fields are ready. So the grass is ready, and the wheat is ready. Let's just go drop this over here with this, turn it off, and then let's just see the tractor's still here with the trailer. We'll just go sort these out, and then we'll have a look into our fields. 
not sure if that's the best way of stacking, although I am quite thankful that uh, the pallets have got a invisible like, layer there. So they're not actually stacked on my eggs, which is, <laughs> which is a bonus. Yeah, that's not the best kind of stacking, is it? But yeah, the, the hovering above it, so I'm going to worry. But that's a lot there, pumpkins, juice and eggs. What a combination. So we're just going to collect all these little bits here like we've done. We're going to get them into the uh, storage. That storage is actually filling up mighty quick. We need to see if we can maybe, maybe get rid of some bits or put another storage in next door. You know which one I want to do. Well, I've just found out something interesting. It was by accident, really. It's to do with this shed. Now, I know we've said before, it'd be nice if you could actually sort of see your pallets in here. That would be quite nice. But I think I've got this slightly wrong because this is a pallet storage. But these are drive-through garages. So it, it's a multi-sort of tasking shed. So here's me thinking, oh, well, this is just like storage. It isn't. They're drive-through sheds. Because I found something out. I know uh, I saw some comments coming saying, oh, I wish the shed that did actually show pallets in there. It would look even better. I was exactly the same. But then I've just gone through, as I've turned, the camera sometimes goes through the building. And I'm like, hold on a minute. I've just seen some pallets. If we go fly up here, the pallets are stored on top. Look, there's all my pallets. So the storage of pallets is at the top that you can't get to or see unless you're like me on PC and you can use the flying mod. But that's where all the pallets are stored. So down below, you can actually use to store your tractors and equipment and still use the same building to store pallets. Now that's just made this building even better. I didn't realize the pallets went up here and I didn't realize you could put tractors and stuff in there. I think I've just loved this mod even more now. That is so cool. It was only by accident that the camera went through the building. I'm like, hold on a minute, I've just seen some pallets. Yeah, that's where they are. So anybody who's in the comments asking me about this, wish you could see pallets. Technically you can, they are there. But unless you can fly up like this, um, you're not going to really know that they're there. But that's good to know. We can actually see them. So we're just getting the workers started then. That one's over there just doing the uh, the grass. He's widespreading it so we can uh, swath it because we're going to have to tear it and then do all that business to get hay. This one's set up now. We're just going to start this guy off on here. Straw swath, I'm hoping, is enabled. Yep, there we go. We'll uh, let them run. Now, I have set both of these on smooth edges, which means, yes, they will miss bits of the corners, but that's not too bad because as long as they don't get stuck, you see, that's the problem. When they're going around and they do sort of like tight corners, well, they have to go like back up right down here to sort of get to the corners. And as we know on this one, we're at the edge of the map and uh, it doesn't seem to work very well. So if we go for these kind of edges like this, we know that they're definitely going to get around the field. And it's the same what I've done with this guy on here. We set him to smooth edges so we know he should be able to carry on going round without technically backing up and getting the edges. I can come back and get them at the end, so that's not too bad. As long as it means the workers are going to carry on, because we've probably all done it before if you play with course play. You'll set them off, and then they'll let you get to the end, get stuck on that corner while you're doing something else. And basically, they've been charging you, and they've done nothing. So, yeah, at least this way, I know they're going to go around the field. They'll complete it. I can tidy up the edges. That's better. So, because I don't want this video to be super long again, because we're already running into longer than normal, I am going to sort of just sort of cut a lot of this out, because the main goal was to try and get hay, get straw. We can then get cows. All's good. So, let's just crack on with that, and we'll see if we can come back in just a little bit. Things are going quite nice. We've just got the worker Ted in that field now. So we've just got the windrow randomly in the middle of that road there. But hey, you know, <laughs> the worker's just heading. Once that's done, we can windrow. Come back with a bale and make some hay bales. Now, this combine might need an upgrade. And I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do that because we're pretty broke again. And we've got, what, nearly 1.6 million in debt. Can I add on to that loan? The only reason I'm saying that is because 
I can't leave this combine on its own. I've got to babysit it because it, it doesn't hold much at all. Now, I did treat myself to a new trailer because the trailers that we've got are small. This one's a bit of a beastie. A bit of a hundred thousand liters, I think this is, or, or 150. But this combine, it seems to only hold like 10,000 liters at a go. And I've had to do it now. Where we are now, this is its third or fourth empty. It doesn't do much at all. I can't leave it. So I think we need to upgrade it to hold a bit more. But I'm not exactly sure how much we would get for this. Yeah, about 250,000. And uh, yeah, an upgrade one is nearly half a million. So unless we can add on to our loan, <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do there. But yes, 10,000 litres. I mean, I can, I can follow it around. But that, that wasn't kind of the plan. I would, I'd like to leave it to it so it could sort of carry on for me. It's the whole point you put it on course play so a worker can, well, get on and do it. And I can go do something else. But if I've got to follow it around to keep emptying it, it's, uh, it's not really going to be the uh, best way. You can see all the little high mound here where it's had to stop. Yeah, well, the worker's put his... Uh, pipe out does that mean we can i thought the work is well it is set to stop when it tips you're gonna stop dead yep oh yep so we i could disable that and follow it around but like i said that's not really kind of the plan Let's see what we can do about an upgrade so i found this little trick which again i completely forgot about course play's got this trick i did look at the loan but the loan company basically gone, not a chance. You took like 1.6 million off us. We're not giving you a penny more. And that's exactly what they've said. It literally says zero. <laughs> if we're going to try and have a look on here, look. Take loan, zero. Amount, max, zero, not allowed. Now, I completely forgot about course play has the feature where you can get the combine to self unload. I know it's a little bit slower, but the combine, if you put a trailer like I've done there, parked it in the field, it will when it needs to go and unload itself so that's not bad it means i can still carry on although it is trying to tip the trailer over work it what are you doing don't worry don't worry about the scratches there it's fine it'll, it'll buff out these workers so i definitely think uh, an upgrade of the combine is next on the agenda but unfortunately at the minute that's just out of reach i can't do it because uh, i can't even get any more money at least he's self-unloading himself. So, okay, well, we'll let him carry on then. I'm going to go and help out on the grass field. So we are done on the grass field. It's now turned into hay. So we've windrowed it, tedded it, and baled it, and picked it up, and it's all there. We've got about 10 hay bales. And again, might seem low quantities, but bear in mind, they're 25,000 litres each. So that's not bad at all. Nearly got another one from the, uh, the baler. I am tempted... There is a mod that allows you to unload the bale early. Now, I'm wondering whether to sort of add that on because this doesn't matter about being a complete bale because it's just going to go into the food mixer. So I'm kind of wondering whether if we should. Hmm. Now, either way, it doesn't matter. It will get used because if I move over and start picking up the straw, it will convert that hay into straw. So, yeah, I'm not really sure. We're going to have a lot of straw by the looks of it. And I don't know if you can really tell... I did upgrade the combine. Money is now at 292,000. And if you're probably thinking, well, how have I done this? The only way I could do it, because it was just, it, it was bonkers to sort of keep stopping at 10,000 liters when it was full. The only way I could do it was lease that combine. That's the only thing we've got on lease now. I know we just took that loan out to basically get rid of everything on lease, but that's all I could do. Get that on lease. It now goes, it now holds 50,000. That combine has got many stages, so if we find somewhere down the line 50,000 is not enough, we can just simply take it in the workshop, upgrade it to 100,000, and then you just keep stepping all the way up to about 2 million. So that's pretty good. It's in. It looks the same. It's in there, all the case colours. The header works fine with it. But yeah, this is 50,000 litres now, so it's not stupid. It's not really unrealistic. Just gives us a little bit of wiggle room, which is what we want. So it's not far off being done on here. And then we can have a go. It's starting to go through. Look at that. So much straw. 
Yeah, I think we're going to be okay for straw for a little bit. Uh, the trailer as well, I did have a, a slight upgrade on that because it was uh, 150,000, but you can put a top on it and then it goes to 200,000, which is what I did. Again, just to give us a bit more headroom. Now, the old combine has gone. I did sell that, which is why the band balance has gone up, but we've got to leave that balance as it is because that's got to try and be paid off as soon as it can, but also we need to buy cows. So before we finish this recording, we are going to end it on buying cows. Might not be able to feed him until next episode, because otherwise this is going to be a super long episode again. But we definitely are going to end this episode on buying cows. Now there is a few little bits in the corners which I, I will go around, but let's just see if we can get the worker to unload. Then the worker should call it quits then, as soon as they've unloaded. It's a little... <clears throat> A little bit off the side. Yeah, there we go. That seems to be all from the worker. The worker is now going to basically park up, call it a day. And then it should go back to the beginning. And I'm just going to leave this here in the middle here. And I'm going to go get them little bits up. I think I'm just going to chop them. I don't think we need to worry about getting some swaths off that. So we're back at the yard now with the wheat. And we can go drive over this thing, which is awesome. This little belt system to feed it into that. Drive over so we get the trigger. Right about here somewhere. There we go. And then we can go and tip. And then that will tip out of here. Put the conveyor belt. And in there. What a setup. Love this. This thing's great. Just drive over it. Doesn't move anywhere. As long as you make sure that you unfold it and actually put the wheels down so it sits on the ground. And don't leave the wheels up, otherwise it will roll everywhere. Works out pretty well. You can just tip it straight into here. But this is quite handy because I've got a belly dump trailer. So you can just drive over with that. Dump it straight in. Going to get a belly dump over this. Can be a little bit tricky. Now we had a lot of wheat in there. Nearly 150,000 litres. That's some going. What have we got in here all together now? We had a little bit in here. Yeah, we're just topping. There's 150. 155. So we must have been just shy then of 150 because we had about 10,000 litres in there. But yeah, that's, that's not bad going that. I like that. Okay, so that's that one done. We'll just leave that one there for now. Round here, we've got the bales that have come back as well. So we're going to put the bales in here. Now, the baler did give me another bale there. It made it, it didn't convert it, which is pretty good. So we've got an extra hay bale. So we're going to just go put these into here. I've got the baler, with well, a worker doing the baling over there, but he's actually on course play, so he's following the combine. So it, it's all going on. It's been quite a busy day. Let's just get them all in there. Okay, beautiful. We reset that. That's good. And then I've just been storing this down the side. So we've got silage. We've got hay, and we're about to get straw. Oh, do you know what, actually? I've just said, normally I'll put it down here. I'll kind of park it down here out of the way. I've just said I'm going to store this, but I, don't, I can't store this yet. Kind of, I need to go back to the field because we've got straw to pick up. So we'll get all the straw, and I think by just looking at that field, there's, there's going to be too many to fit on here. We're going to have to do a few runs. So we'll get all the straw back to the farm, and then we'll finish by buying some cows. So we've got 22 straw bales off that field, which is mighty good. And I'll be honest, I haven't worked out what, what that is. But that's a lot of straw. This uh, this old tractor struggling to try and break with all this on here. That is a lot. And that should keep us going with food now for quite a while. There we go. So we've got that in there. So just quickly doing the maths on that then. 22 bales, 25,000 each. That's 550,000 litres of straw. Yeah, I think that's going to keep us going for a little while, don't you? So, it has turned out to be uh, quite a hefty episode again, so I do apologise about these big episodes. I'm trying to squeeze in as much as I can for you, and a few different jobs, because uh, yeah, we're just trying to push on a little bit to get some money and get things moving. So, really, we need to just end this episode now by uh, well, buying some cows. I must admit, this has taken a little bit longer than I thought. Let's have a look and see how long I've actually been in game for. So you can see there, time played, it's showing 2 hours 41. Now that, that's this session, as in 
this half. What you wouldn't have noticed though is um, I have actually technically been here for two hours, ten minutes before I did. The first part was two hours, ten minutes. I took a little bit of break to go and have something to eat, a bit of a bite to eat, come back, and then the second session of this recording, two hours, forty-one. So for you to see this now, whatever time this ends up being, nearly five hours to put this together. Yeah, I think I think it's I, I think I'm due a break on this one. It's been quite a long one. Now where did we go to buy these cows? Now anyone remember? Was it here? Yeah, it's one of these. Ah, there we go. Holsteins are what we want, and we want the uh, the old ones, the uh, eighteen month ones, so we can get milk straight away. So let's have a look and see. Nine hundred and seven thousand for the full five hundred and fifty. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Let's just sort of work our way up and see. Uh, what could we get for... Oh, money is going up, into. I want to try and get a good amount because we need we need the milk. There's 100 grand for 60. Oh, okay. I think, look, I think we'll, we'll start with 60 because they obviously will reproduce and we will get more cows that way, but... Yeah, mon money's tied to the minute, so we'll go for 60. Oh, should we... Now, you know what? Let's let's go for 50. Let's round it up for 50. That'd be better. A bit cheaper. 82.50. We'll buy them. There we go. Welcome. The cows are in. So we've got sheep. We've got cows. Horses. Horses are next, but they don't really give us anything. We, we want milk off these. We're going to get some manure, which will keep our gardens going as well. We'll get some slurry, which we can put on the fields, or we can just sell it at the BGA. Oh, yes, this is pretty good. So, um, yeah, we are literally going to stop the game here now. So I know these have got no food, but literally when we start the next episode, that's our first mission. Get them bales in the food processor, start it processing the food. And then, uh, yeah, we will uh, obviously get these guys some food as soon as we can. Finally, we've got cows. Did I just see someone? Oh, a deer just literally ran out of my cow shed. I, th I thought, uh, I mean, I've been here a while. I thought I was seeing things. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I do appreciate your support, and thank you for watching this. We'll come back next time, and uh, yeah, we'll have to have a look into things, what to do, because at the minute, I'm not 100% sure. We just need to focus on cow food. Alfalfa probably will be ready next time, but we'll, we'll just simply turn that into silage again. We'll send that straight to the BGA. Corn, I think it's going to be a little way off yet. It's about October time for corn. Maybe we could put something back in the fields. I really want oats. Because oats are good for the grain mill. We get a lot of more, a lot more flour out of the oats. So, you know, littler oat ratios, more flour. So, really, oats. But we can't put oats until next year, unfortunately, now. And nobody, no, there's no contracts for an oat field. Typical, isn't it? So, we will see. We might try and do some contracts to get some money. But we will sort of sort that out in the next episode. If you want to see what happens... Hit subscribe, hit like, and leave your comments, good or bad, below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.